Hey y'all, this is Give Me Got 18 back again with another Buddhist video. Uh, I would like to thank all of y'all who have been watching my videos and leaving me comments and who've been writing me and stuff like that. If I haven't wrote you back in a message yet, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll get back to it. I don't know. I'm just retarded. But thank y'all so much and I'm excited. So it encouraged me to make another video, just random encouragement for you guys because I know people are out there struggling. And quite honestly, I've been struggling lately with some uh, fundamental darkness and some things in my life. And so I figured it would be a perfect time to share some stuff that has helped me. So I'm going to be reading from this little cute book called Determination. Well, I'm sorry. It's like just quotes about determination by uh, President Daisaku Ikeda. And there's some stuff in here that really has helped me through some of the stuff that I've been going through. But... Uh, basically, make a long story short, um, I lost some people who I felt like were my friends, and in the process of it all, I learned a lot. Uh, I'm still dealing with it. I'm still not quite over the loss of the friendship, but uh, I'm going to be okay because I'm Buddhist, so I'm going to be perfectly fine, and I'm just here to let y'all know whatever y'all are going through, I promise you, you're going to be okay. As long as you continue to chant Nam Myoho Denge Kyo, as long as you continue to find stuff. Um, look at things in a positive light, you will be fine. I promise you, and I'm here to help you through it. Um, also, um, another thing I wanted y'all to apologize. I want to apologize about the poor camera quality. I mean, it's not as good as my other camera. Um, but I still hope that this helps someone. But anyway, it's just a cute little book I bought at the community center in New Orleans because I'm out of Louisiana. And I went there recently because we're going to be in a Zulu parade, and uh, I had to buy this book. And so I'm going to read a couple of quotes that have helped me, and hopefully it helps you because that's my goal is to help people out there who are going through some stuff and struggling with things because it ain't over. All right. This one is something that I really highlighted because um, we tend to do this as humans. We, twin we tend to... Well, I tend to dwell on the past and beat myself up about stuff that I can't change. And that's not the way the Buddhist teaching t teachings uh, teach us to react to stuff. So here's a good quote. We should not dwell on the past. There is no need to do so. Those who exert themselves fully in the present moment and burn with a great hope for the future are true sages in life. I really love that because it's letting you know that Buddhism is from this point on. That's the big thing in Buddhism, that life is from this point on. It's nothing you can do about what you did five seconds ago, five minutes ago, five days ago. Nothing that you can do. And trust me, y'all, if y'all are practitioners of the Lotus Sutra, or if you're just a good person, I don't want to just limit it to Buddhism, but if you're a good person, you need to trust your life. I didn't understand what that meant for a long time, but I get it now. It means that stuff unfolds in your life the way it's supposed to for your best interest. You know what I'm saying? Because you are a good person. So there's no way your life is going to lead you wrong. You know, so if we just really soak that in, it'll help with a lot of stuff. Um, true happiness is a life of continual self-improvement. And that's so true because out of the situation, I learned a lot about myself. And I learned a lot of things that um, I need to change about myself. I learned um, just stuff about people in general, you know, that you can't really give your all to, ev to every single person that claims that you're your, they're your friend. You can't do that. And um, I also learned that sometimes you don't get second chances in life. Sometimes you do one thing and that's it. You know what I'm saying? So we have to be mindful of these things when we go into different relationships and stuff. Um, another one is uh, Confront Reality. Look it squarely in the face with guts and wisdom and strength and challenge everything that lies ahead of you. That's another thing in Buddhism. I personally have um, the tendency to avoid things. Like, it may seem stupid, but when my guinea pig died, like in 2008 or so, a seven or something like that, I felt I was responsible for it. And so, as a result, I, um, I avoided it. I didn't talk about it. I didn't allow myself to feel the emotions. So like seven, eight months later, I'm crying over the guinea pig. And people are like, the guinea pig died 14 uh, months ago. Why are you still thinking about that? I'm like, well, hell, I didn't deal with it. So Buddhism has helped me face stuff. Allow yourself to feel the emotions. Allow yourself to really analyze why this is hurting you. Why Why did the losing that friendship hurt me? Let, let, let's, I, I'll use myself because I really hope I, I really want to help. So... Why did that friendship, losing that friendship hurt me? 
Well, because I felt like I belonged. I felt like I had a group of people that truly loved me. I felt appreciated. I felt like I was a part of the group. And with, when that gets taken away, you feel like you're not a part of the group. You don't feel so good about yourself. So in order to really heal and to go through your human revolution, which is your internal transformation, uh, and also which is your, the, the aha moment after you make a bunch of mistakes, basically, or after something happens, that aha moment about what you could have done differently. And once you adapt that into your life from here on out, you, my friend, are going through your human revolution, which is all this Buddhism is about. But, um, but yeah, well, you just have to face your problems head on. You can't, the only way to go get through a problem is to go through it. So don't try to avoid it. And I'm learning all this as I'm talking. Um, we mustn't compare ourselves to others. What is important is that we strive to be better today than we were yesterday and better tomorrow than we are today. Don't you just love this practice? Like, it just makes so much sense. There's no reason to compare myself to anyone. That's, that played a part in the loss of my friendship. You know what I'm saying? I had a weak moment where I was comparing myself to another singer. And my energy, not my actions, really, my energy led to the loss of it. So what did I do wrong? I was comparing myself to others. I was um, allowing fundamental darkness to get to me, you know, because I wasn't really practicing. And that played a part in the loss of my friendship. There's a lot of things that played a part in it, but this really helped me because, shit, yeah, my energy was off, but you know what? I'm striving. I am. I realized that. I realized that that night. You know what I'm saying? That night, I realized as these thoughts were coming in my head. Because once you've been practicing for a while, you kind of recognize fundamental darkness for what it is. When it comes in, you realize fundamental darkness. Okay, block that shit. All right, that's that's not how I should be thinking. And it's like an internal battle that you go through. And I checked it that night. And so I'm glad that I was able to go through that because now I see that I do have these tendencies to compare myself. You know what I'm saying? And now I'm changing it, so it's all good. I'm going to be better tomorrow than I am today. I'm going to feel better about the situation tomorrow. And whatever you're going through, you are going to feel better about it tomorrow. When you're feeling low, the beautiful thing about that is, hell, you ain't got nowhere to go but up. And that really is a cliche, but it's true. You don't have anything to do but to improve. Yeah, so I love that. Um... What need is there to heed the words of ignorant people? The human heart is difficult to trust. Be independent and have self-respect. I love the first part. What is the is what is uh, what need is there to heed the uh, words of ignorant people? Basically, my so-called friend feels like I'm a hater. I know I'm not. Who gives a shit? That's basically what they're saying. You're ignorant. Clearly, if you haven't figured out that I'm not a hater or I'm not a bad person yet, then you're dumb. So, to hell with you. You know what I'm saying? So, that's how we really need to have attitude towards people. If people are just saying some, some stuff and they're, and they're not really giving you a fair chance to, it, to explain and they don't know who you are, I don't give a damn what it is. It could be a situation at work, wherever. You're ignorant. You clearly don't know me. Because we all know what ignorant means. You don't know. So, to hell with what you're talking about. I know me. You don't. I love me. You don't have to. So kiss my ass. That's how it needs to be. So, um, let's see. I want to make. The, I don't even know how long this video is, but I don't want to make it too long. Um, the greater the struggle, the more enriching. Oh, I can't read. I'm sorry. I've been reading terribly all day today. The greater the struggle, the more enriching the experience is for your life. Basically, the more shit you go through, the smarter and wiser and more intelligent and ultimately the more happy that you'll be. Yeah, we all have a choice. Now, Buddhism concerns itself with victory and defeat, not so much punishment and reward. Um, so I can either choose to be victorious or choose to be depressed and dwell on it and care about people who don't care about me. Or I can get up and go forward with my life and really show them. And you don't have to be you don't have to be in people's face to show them that they're missing something. So all these things that I'm saying is really helping me and I hope it helps you guys. I'll give you a couple of more because I really I just promise you I, I just don't want to make it too long. Y'all gonna be like 
Why is this girl talking all day? You don't want that. I think that's a good one. I like that one. Okay. Um, no matter what happens, no matter how daunting the obstacles we encounter, when viewed from the vast perspective of the mystic law, which encompasses the entire universe, they are all trifling, tiny matters. The important thing is to look at things from a lofty state of life, rising high above the clamorous dam of life. We can advance with joy and courage. The part that really stood out to me in that quote was, um, no matter what happens, no matter what obstacle you go through, it's really small compared to the vast circumference of the universe. Basically, what you're going through is nothing. What, how, how I would like to sum that up is what whatever you're going through, loss of a boyfriend, loss of a job, loss of a, of a so-called friend, loss of maybe a true friend. It doesn't matter. When it comes to your potential, that really ain't shit. Buddhists, we look at obstacles with open arms because they're opportunities for growth. So I'm happy that this is happening. You know, I'm happy because I am learning so much about myself. And I feel like this has been a great video and I know I've helped somebody out there. I hope I have helped somebody out there. And I just want y'all to know that I love each and every one of y'all for supporting my videos. And I will continue to make them for y'all. Um... Unfortunately, I did not. Hmm. I didn't. I didn't have my pen with me. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, wait, wait. This is a good one. I'm sorry, y'all. To live without regret. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm stupid. Okay, start over. This life will never come again. It is precious and irreplaceable. To live without regret is crucial for us to have a concrete purpose and continual. Uh, set and, and continually set goals and challenges. I mess it up in the end. But the beautiful part about this is live with no regret. I don't regret any decision that I've ever made in my life because without it I wouldn't be who I am. And and I really and I'm I'm preaching this because I need to hammer it in my head and I hope that I can help any of y'all. Basically regret is the biggest waste of time. You I can't think of a better way to waste time than instead of regretting something. I don't give a damn what you did. Bad choice, good choice, whatever. It's no way to take it back. I could tell everybody on here that um I don't like cats and I could have lied about it. Well I done already lied, so ain't nothing I can do about it. You know, that was a stupid example. But don't waste time with regret. That's the biggest waste of time you can possibly that in the world. So no regret anything and I really hope that this video has helped you because it has helped me already and I'm feeling better about the situation and I'm just going to be better. I'm just going to be better tomorrow than I am today. I'm going to keep forging ahead. I am a Buddha. I am not no common mortal. I'm not no regular person. I'm a beautiful and wonderful person and so are you. You're beautiful. You're wonderful. Mistake. No mistake. You know what? If you're Buddhist, it's not such a thing as a mistake. It's just a such thing as experiences. Good or bad, they're all experiences and they're all crucial to your human development and human growth. And you will be beautiful in the end. I want everybody just to, just to love yourself, love who you are. And don't make any apologizes for who you are. And that's all I have.